firstly, let's talk about the word trust. Trust is an emotion. Remember that, right? Trust is an emotion. Now, I've always said this in my workshops. I always said that people buy based on emotion and justify with logic. People buy based on emotion and justify logic. One of the things that you need to do from a customer standpoint is look at understanding the kind of emotion they have and being able to connect to that emotion. So going back to this word trust, trust is one of the primary emotions at the start and the beginning of any relationship. When you go and, and engage with a brand as a customer yourself, you probably have a level of doubt. You probably have a lot of trust. Now, what changes? What changes if, if the brand is able to demonstrate that they are credible, that they are able to serve you, and it comes from a few ways. So I'm going to give you some quick tips to get you thinking about this. The first thing from a trust component is this. You need to look at building credibility. You need to look at building credibility. Now, how do you do that? So for example, the kind of things that you say to prove to the audience that you are believable. Um, I use the word proof points in, in many of the programs that I talk about. Now, what are proof points? Proof points is proving to the client that they can trust you. Give me, let me give you examples of proof points, awards that you have, the number of clients that you have served, customers that you serve, uh, customer case studies, testimonials, um, uh, rankings. I mean, these are or data or, you know, or, or market data that shows that you are at the top of your game. Now, these are examples of proof points and that needs to be seen. The second thing that you talk, think about from a trust perspective is the way your salesperson goes in and delivers the brand. Now, many a time, I have an organization with great proof points, right? They are number one in the marketplace and they have uh, wonderful awards and great case studies. But the sales people, the salesperson going into the deal fails to deliver the brand appropriately. So the second thing that you need to consider is how do I get my, my salespeople to deliver my brand in a way that is aligned to what my brand represents and at the highest level? And of course, that comes through a lot of training and a lot of, a lot of coaching. So that's the second thing, getting your, your, your salespeople right. The third thing is that trust, trust can be broken at any point. Now, one of the things that I do in my programs, I talk about customer journey mapping and I take a customer and I bring a customer and I, I look at the customer across their journey. Now, imagine this, right? Imagine if your organization, they come in, they meet the salesperson and they go, wow, I trust this organization. The salesperson was great. They take the order, the salesperson takes it and puts it to customer service and customer service is great. But then when it comes to implementation, the engineers are terrible. That's where trust is broken. So one of the things that I want you to start thinking about is think about the customer journey with you. Think about the opportunities to continuously exceed expectations and create wow moments. So trust, remember, is earned. It is earned because an organization, a brand, has put in the effort to really look at building that relationship with the customer. It's put in the effort to demonstrate very clearly that, that they are trustworthy and it really comes from you spending time deep diving into the customer journey. Hey, if you have any more branding questions, please send me your questions to jerome at jeromejoseph.com.